Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to play with a Shrek and the main reason why because I got so many questions about this vehicle. If you are wondering where you can buy it because you can currently, you are clicking on the store and you are clicking on the best um, offers and there you can see Mr. Shrek hiding. The top deal is not horrible to be fair with you 18,000 gold is giving you tank 3d style and garage slot and most importantly a crew with the two perks but the thing is it's not brother in arms crew it's not the crew with which you have uh, uh, zero brother in arms perk that's what i'm trying to say so this is to consider if you have a lot of crew members in the barracks please remember you can use them instead, for example, girls from the missions and whatnot. Or you, if you want to buy the tank for uh, only the tank for gold, which is probably the best solution for most of the people, it is nine and a half thousand gold. One more thing to highlight, fellas, if you would click on the barracks, make sure you recruited your crew members who are expiring. What do I mean by saying this is... Uh, there is two or three crew members which will expire in the end of this year. Keep this in mind, recruit them to whatever tank just to have them, not to lose them. You can say tank skill in the comment section down below, it is very, very important. I am 99% sure um, there is crew members who are valid till 2022, uh, 12 and 28 or whatever. So keep this in mind. I know I did that myself already. So now without further ado, let's try to teleport into the game with this vehicle. And one more thing, I might not speak as much today. I am feeling sick for some reason. Maybe it is uh, cold weather or something and my uh, my voice is giving up. Right? I want to cough, so I'm trying to hold it. So keep this in mind, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And now without further ado, let's go into the game. Okay, very first game. What do we have? We have Ruinberg Standard Battle. Ruinberg is disgusting map for me personally and I believe for this vehicle as well but I don't really think we have many choices and <laughs> many options okay let's see what we can do so first of all we are starting everything from sniping in the back and I believe this is exactly how the things are going to look like since we are bottom tier and uh, it's just simply not worth to go into the middle especially when pretty much most of our guys are going into the city there is nothing to do but let's talk this tank now this tank is not easy tank to play with i know many people might think but, 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 but skill it has the best dpm especially with high explosives it is absolutely amazing good penetration with the standards amazing penetration with the heat the thing is this tank has slow shell velocity no gun depression no armor and no camo to pull off this kind of uh, this kind of setup you need to be a very good player i really want to highlight this fellas and to say that in the face you know i know from the stats tank is looking magnificent and tank is looking absolutely amazing but keep this in mind it is just for extremely extremely strong players and great players Sniping from the back as well. Yes, it is an option and yes in most situations. This is what you need to do But the thing is scorpion or so or whatever else would perform so much better just because they have better shell velocity And it's easier to shoot. You know, you do not need to pre-aim that much Now when this rant is over or I mean if you can call this rant at this point uh, I really want to highlight the positives of this tank and there is only one, in my opinion. There is no more positives than one. So the most positive thing is the PM. That's it. Nothing nothing more than that, nothing less than that. The DPM of this vehicle is absolutely magnificent. If enemies are going to make a silly goose mistake, you can be sure about this. You will be able to spank them if you will hit your shots, if you will connect your shots, right? That being said, you are meeting tier 10 um, or tier 8, doesn't really matter because you have enough penetration to penetrate them. Plus on top of that, if you are meeting someone without armor like Leopard or whatever else, you are going to load high explosive ammunition, 420 in the face. This is huge penetration and you can definitely slap everyone with this gun, right? 
Um, and that's about it. Pretty much I described the tank in pretty much couple of sentences now. Now we can try to focus on the game. And looking into all of this, it doesn't look that great for us, to be fair with you. But I want to get a bit involved because I have a feeling... Oh, hello there. Because I have a feeling we need to. Now pay attention, we have the 140 over there. And what we will try to do... Oh, buddy, you messed up. Hi. Come on, gun. Come on. Beautiful. If I would hit the first one and the second one, he would be down to fartable already, right? This is extremely important thing to highlight and I really want to highlight importance of the high explosives of this, uh, of this tank. It is truly important. So that being said, if, uh, if you are not a big fan of shooting high explosives, I think you need to reevaluate your choices depending on the tank. For example, this tank has 100 millimeters of penetration with a high explosive, so that's what what you need to keep in mind. You know, you will simply improve significantly in the game if you will make a de decision to um, to use it, to say that the least. Anyways, obviously I ran away for obvious reasons. I knew enemies are going to make pressure for us and if they will make pressure for us we are not going to enjoy ourselves that much so here you go that's what we have can we spank him in the ass beautiful now look how quickly this tank can pump this damage it is truly quick fellas and believe me i'm not saying that every time i could sit here potentially and leo is sitting here now the question is will our leo be able to spot them I didn't really think he's sitting good enough in the bush, honestly. He needs to be somewhere here, probably, in order to do so. Bad shell velocity and slow aiming by me. But, for example, if I would have this situation with, I don't know, Kahn Panzer, right? I know the tank itself is not that great, but shell velocity is very, very quick. So that would be a bit different story. By the way, once again, I do not talk as much and I talk very, very silently because my throat is irritated and I want to cough all the time, so I am trying to do my best not to do so, if that makes sense. Okay. Beautiful. And garage. Uh, no gun depression. No gun depression, fellas. We need to keep this in mind. It is, it is very complicated tank to play with. I truly want to highlight this. Because I know many people might think, but, 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 but the tank is easy. You have extremely good high explosives and whatnot. So that's why I am trying to do my best by highlighting not only positives, but negatives as well. Mm. What is the plan? We need to defend from upcoming forces here, I guess. Mm -hmm. That was actually close. Um, okay, the whole idea is straightforward. All we need to do, we need to start spanking people going a bit more aggressive for us this way. That's what we need to do. It's not going to be simple, it's not going to be easy, but it is going to be doable. Also speaking about the angle and position, how am I going to do this? I am going to sit somewhere here, I guess. Okay, good. Although, what is the chance of Mr. Scorpion sitting right there? Okay. Chance is 100%. Good. Okay, how we can deal with them now? We need to load the gold ammunition. It is super important. And we can and we will spank everyone incoming for us. Ooh, not so much. Okay. He's going through the middle. This is going to be very, very hard. Unless our Leo will help us somehow. And even then it is hard. And yes, we have a fucker T30. I know. Maybe guy lost internet connection or who knows. Or maybe he has diarrhea as well. That could be a possibility. How we can do this high explosive here? Maybe... Not really. 
Oh, Baza. We can shred Baza like there is no tomorrow. Minus 800 HP. Mm. Now enemies are becoming greedy. More and more and more greedy. This is exactly what I want to see. Not be greedy. Be greedy. I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at you. Ah, smart mother trucker. Smart mother trucker. There is nothing to say about that. Okay. This is extremely hard game, fellas. I would love to say it would be easy, but it's not. And I'm officially doomed. Is that's what I think? Okay, how are we doing? Now high now um gold armor will help us quite a bit to deal with the tanks like Baza without bigger problems whatsoever. Just saying. Look at this beauty. High this tank has extremely, extremely good penetration with the gold. And this is like the most important highlight which I need to give and which I will give. Okay. Now the question is, where is that Progetto? Is he closer or he's still sitting hold down? He's still sitting hold down, okay. Understood, let's try to penetrate this guy, nice. I know Progetto is looking at me and I'm dead. It's okay, not a bad, not a bad game. I tried to show everything what I could and once again I apologize for not having that much of the strength in my voice. I'm just trying to hold, not to not to um, cough so yeah anyways let's see the score okay we are back to the scoreboard so we have 3.3 thousand damage three kills 1.4 thousand assisting damage hippie hip, hooray we finish it by the damage first and by experience first and we made a lot of credits as well which is very very good thing fellas it is absolutely amazing but once again I really want to highlight this it is not so simple to play with this vehicle I truly mean it okay let's go for a seconds and once again if you're wondering am i going to stream today today is a day off and sunday is a day off i need to recover somehow okay round number two erlenberg standard battle what do we need to do we need to go to the hotel one there is plenty of ways how we can play this map overall as a big tank destroyer i don't want to go into the city at least with this one there is no need for us to be there but other than that we can snipe from here we can snipe from somewhere over there if necessary after that we can take typical position here and if it is falling we can go back and in the same time we can play in the middle so we are covering this and we are covering this so there is plenty of the options and plenty ways how we can actually how we can actually play this map Okay, the whole point as being there is going to be to see someone without armor uh, and we will try to penetrate them. Oh, that's good. <coughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, Mr. STB, hello there. Do we have good enough angle? I think so. 420. And keep this in mind, the reload time of this vehicle is four seconds you can say whatever you want this is sick but once again it's not as flexible as many people might think it is and it is not for uh, newer players to play with you know just how it goes and i at least i am feeling this way plus as you can see the play with ammunition is quite a big one what do i <coughs> what do i mean by saying this is i'm trying to use the best ammunition possible at the time whenever you i am shooting the, so as an example if i can penetrate with high explosives <coughs> i apologize fellas there is nothing what i can do about this if i can penetrate with a high explosives i will try to do absolutely everything what i physically and possibly can doing so, right? If I cannot penetrate with the high explosives, I am simply going to load the AP ammunition and we are going to be Gucci. We will feel like a fresh pickles and we will be alright. Or if I cannot penetrate with... 
a piece i will load gold simple as this one fort is flanking understood this is quite a hard game but don't worry we have the dpm mother tracker over there and we have one shot monster so <clears throat> i am feeling relatively fine with all of this and as wrong as it sounds even if 140 will try to make pressure for us I am not feeling that bad, you know, I'm not feeling like a victim here. Let's put that in this way. Mm. Let's see. Oh. Right there. Once again, minus shell velocity. Shell velocity is definitely a problem with this vehicle. And a lot of people... When you... Let's say you are asking person what he would change on this vehicle. And most of the people are saying they would change the shell velocity in a way, right? Because it's so slow. Huh. I have an idea. This pattern will try to come back to the same position again. I'm pretty sure about this. So what we will do, we will be patient. But we are going to go for plenty of the blind shots here. Oh, hi there. Mistakes were made by this gentleman. Let's try to go for a blind shot. Let's go for other one. I know where he is exact. We have time for one more. I know he is down to fartable. I know that. Now the question is how to dig him out. This is the most important question at this point. is right there where exactly who knows but it is i am pretty certain he is sitting around this area and to hit him can be a bit of the pain in the ass especially pay attention how high shells are flying how we can do this i apologize fellas uh today today is quite quite a day for me if i can say so the throat is killing me and the daily dose of skill needs to be done. And this is important topic to talk about as well. Mm. I am very very lucky fellas. This tank doesn't have this kind of uh, armor okay just to let you know. You cannot expect to not get penetrated. Um, by the gold ammo. Look where he hit us. He hit us over there probably. So yeah. A hashtag never lucky for this pattern I would say. No pattern. We are the flying yeah, for you. Can, can you let me kill you please? I will be good boy. Such a hard game. There is nothing to do fellas. That is the main problem of all this. By the way do you see our friendly... Um, Shrek shooting as well with the blind shots. By the way, one more thing very important to highlight. Standard ammunition of this tank is expensive. Skill, how much expensive? Skill, I mean, you are doing 250 alpha damage. How much, is co how much it costs? 300 credits. I wish. It is over 1000 credits per shell. So whenever you are blind firing, for example, I went for a whatever 10 to 15 blind shots that means i am in minus for 10 to 15 thousand so this is also extremely important thing to highlight not everything is so uh, cheap in a way okay I'm, I'm going to fo from here i literally have nothing to do i literally have nothing to do here fellas that is the main problem and uh, i am struggling with this game to be fair with you it is very unclear how I supposed to play. And in the same time, I believe um, many of you are going to feel the same way with this vehicle. It is not clear lines. You do that, you do that, you do that. As an example, you are playing with Borat, you know you are light tank with a big bicep so you can defend yourself. This tank, it is a bit more of the struggle. Yeah, I'm, I don't have the fucking gun depression. That is the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Not not ideal, fellas. Not ideal whatsoever. What are our options? 
What are our options? If I will pick sideways, this is going to be absolutely disgusting and this is going to be no bueno. Uh, if I am going to go like this, I am dead meat. I need this prototype to make a mistake. The thing is, once again, no gun depression. That is the problem. And once again, I'm aware of the path and sitting here. So he relocated from this position. Interesting. You saw that correctly. He just rammed the prototype. Yes. You saw that first, fellas. Okay. High explosives on because I can penetrate him with high explosives. Miss Do you want to go? You can go. Beautiful high explosive penetration. Mm, Bizonto. Okay, we are fixing the score. You love your gun, don't you? You love your gun, my man. I know you love your gun. There is nothing what he can change about this. He missed, so he can cry in the corner at this point pretty much. That's all he can do. I do not really... I need to eliminate this STB, but I do not want to get farmed by Bizonte. That is the biggest problem for us. And how to deal with this? That is a good question. Maybe I could find a decent angle here. I think I'm okay. Let's see. Beautiful. STB1 is out. Hip hip hooray. That is very good. Now at this point we need to figure out how to be relatively aggressive here. This is the question, fellas. How to be relatively aggressive and how to support our team without dying. That is a task for us. By the way, just to let you know we are losing by 2000 hit points. Although, we do not necessarily know how many HP enemies he has, right? We do not know how many HP this guy has or this guy or those two. So, in a way, it is not as horrible as it might look like. Okay, let's go for a blind shot like this, I believe. At first, after that, another blind shot just like so. Yeah, this is expensive, I know, but there is nothing what we can change about that. And by the way, five minutes. This is a rare game in the world of tanks. Nowadays, to have a game like this, oh my bananas. This is rare. Okay, at this point, we are just chilling. We have four minutes. I am very, very well aware of that. We, are, we will need to break their defense, you know? It's absolutely madness. Our, our Leo is uh, a commander of the day, motivating his soldiers, motivating his warriors by calling it Yon's push push. Well, World of Tanks will never get old. That's what I can tell you. I'm going for a couple of the blind shots left, right and center. Once again, I want to show you how many, how much credits we are going to lose in this game. It is madness. It truly is. Mm. Hard game. You know what is the worst thing of all this? Our performance is not epic either, right, for this game. So much time, so much everything and the score is not epic. Him. This is risky, but I'm up to take the risk. I know. I know, fellas. I know. Not the first time, not the last time. With a bit of pressure, with a bit of the hammer, everything is going well. It's okay. It's okay. A bit of pressure and we are fine. Okay. Fava. At this point, I'm kind of spotter. Oh, yo. Yes, I cannot penetrate him so so easily. You are correct. Eh. 
bad call by me. I shouldn't. I shouldn't run like this. But it is how it is. No complaints, no regrets. This is what we have, fellas. I'm sorry for lack of the energy today, but it's just how it goes. Let's see the score. Okay, we have 2.3 thousand visible. Let's see what the game is going to show for us. Are we going to get more with our blind shots or we are not going to get more? This is the question. Nope, 2.3. Every single blind shot missed. Shame, but it is how it is. That is the reality. Now, luckily we finish at top by experience. We finish at like 4 thousand the damage, but now pay attention at the ammunition cost. Wait a second. Am I talking kako? How many times I fired? I'm not here you go we fired 35 times and this is the uh outer supply ammunition what is the price of the shells i really want to double check it out oh it's 890 here you go still pretty damn expensive for this caliber as an example if we would compare that against the out of curiosity if we would compare that against the t44 uh yeah it's 250 if we would compare that against let's say pilot or something like this pattern care right um you can see the price of the ammo is not even close for being uh, as expensive as it is now right and it is just for a highlight anyways fellas that's what i have prepared for you today once again please um, apologies from my side from the lack of the mood and lack of energy i simply need to take a rest and i need to recover and i'm going to feel like a fresh pickle very very soon all and all um, we played only a couple of games but that is okay those games were pretty long ones uh, 2.8 thousand damage and 1.7 thousand assisting damage it is not a horrible score for us it is like four and a half thousand combined so it is all right Anyways, thank you very much for watching, take care fellas, have a lovely weekend and don't get cold. Skill is out, peace.